Welcome to Pyramid Fitness. This is Kettlebell Corner. We're here at Studio Mix in San Francisco. Today we're going to focus on perfecting that kettlebell competitive swing. The swing involves the hamstrings, the glutes, the quads, the stomach, grip strength, and the shoulders. A lot of things involve full body workout. The first step with perfecting your kettlebell swing is understanding two things that are involved in the swing. There's a horizontal component and vector and a vertical. So a broad jump setup with a vertical jump kind of change your mind as you go through. So what I mean by that is this. First of all, attach your left arm into your body until your crotch thumb turned in. Pretend the kettlebell's extended here. Arm stays connected in, none of this. It's glued to the body. The second thing, feet shoulder width apart. This hand here, I call this the shadow hand, the shadow arm. This is going to help us with the movement and it's going to follow my hip action. So what we're going to do, first thing, you're going to soften the knees. So bend, this arm comes forward. Extend, you're going to reach back with the shadow arm, shadow arm. Legs are extended here, hamstrings are loaded up like a rubber band, pulled tight, ready to explode forward. From here, instead of doing our broad jump, we're going to soften, change your mind, feet stay glued to the floor, and come tall. So we'll practice this motion, bend, extend, boom, bend and grow, bend, extend, bend and grow. So I'm exaggerating, bend, extend, bend and grow. I have a rocking chair in my head. That's the first thing you want to practice. Second step to perfecting your swing is understanding the grip. The grip is super important. What you don't want to do with the kettlebell is over grip it. So oftentimes what you see people I do is they come in and they just grip, grip, grip. If you do this, you can't quite relax the arm, you can't get that length, and you can't use the shoulder as much as a hinge. So what I want you to do with the kettlebell is you're going to approach it. If you're grabbing with the right hand, you're going to slide toward this curvature and grab toward the medial line. The second thing is this. You'll notice I don't want to rough out and cut and pull on the calluses. We're on the end of the finger. You're going to use your thumb. You're going to hook on the very edge of the hand and bring the thumb over the fingernail and you're going to relax it there. If you're holding it properly, swing it side to side, let your arm relax and you'll notice you don't feel any of the skin pull in your hand. This is really important when you're doing long cycle exercises, when you're doing something for a minute straight, five minutes straight, ten minutes straight. The hands and skin need to be preserved. All right, so we're ready to swing with the weight. We understand how the hips work. We understand how the grip works. We're going to walk away from our kettlebell. It's in the middle of our body. We're going to soften the knees, reach forward, grab toward the midline, fingertips, thumb pulled over the fingernail with pointer finger, drag the kettlebell across the floor, and then let's get into the motion. So bend, extend, bend and grow. Shadow arm is working. So as you're swinging, remember that rocking chair in the hip, and also, don't kick the kettlebell out away from you, but keep it close to your body. There's reasons for that. As we progress in these videos and you learn more about how to clean, how to wrap, how to press, you're going to need the kettlebell to move in front of the body. So you'll notice if it's out here, too far away from me while I'm swinging, I have to do a lot more to get it in position. So the swing is all about efficiency. We're looking to be able to swing for a minute on each side at least of the weight that we have. What you need to learn is how to transition side to side. So when I set up again and I go into my swing, there's a reason why the thumb is forward and turned in toward the body. I gotta work on alternating sides. So as I swing through, I rotate, thumb turns in, rotate, open the bell, and switch sides. Switch sides. So let's go into our swing casually. And then I want you to work on accelerating more and more as you go forward and getting more height out of the bell. The height is not coming from the shoulder, but it's coming from the explosiveness of the hips. And what I want you to work on while you're doing this is letting go on the kettlebell. Woo! And then recapturing it with the hands. So letting go and re-gripping. Letting go and re-gripping. If you could do this and stay smooth, then you've got a pretty good swing, okay? So practice letting go, getting loose, re-gripping. This is really important so when you go into clean or snatches and the weight's coming down, later on you'll know how to connect to the bell as it comes down and work and sink, find that rhythm. Thanks for joining Pyramid Fitness. This is Kellogg Corner. This is the beginning. The next uh, video, we're going to be going over the rack position. Rack position, this is a rest position. We'll go over a lot of details next, but come back to the next video, figure out how we move from a swing and do a clean hitting this rack spot and what can we do from that rack position. So next video, stay tuned. The rack and the clean with the kettlebell.